Greetings, friends of Louie. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, King of Louisville, Episode 13, City Gone Dark. The car pride right now is work on Louis's secret project. So that is what we're going to do. First things first, let's get some shut eye because Louis here is pretty tired after uh, setting up his kitchenette and his washer dryer. That's a lot of work, you know? I will be uh, offering up some polls about exactly what to do, but I'd really like to get the uh, the secret project done first uh, because it will be a lot of fun, I think. Or hope. Ooh, sleeping in there, Lewis, huh? Oh, are you ever? Ten and a half hours of sleep? Oh, 11 hours of sleep? Dude. As someone with a baby, you make me so jealous. Um... All right. Well, he's hungry. Uh, speaking of my weight, it's right now 81 and dropping. I'm not too worried about my weight that much. Uh, it should stay pretty stable. But uh, let's start working on the project. I must have been a little tired. Uh, just a little, you know. Standard. Standard tired. Like how I am every day. IRL. So are you guys eager for the next big update? They're reworking a whole lot of systems, and I'm I'm definitely excited to see where it goes. For sure. Also, uh, opening up all the channel point redemptions, so if you have questions about the game, or you want dog treats, or whatever else, uh, just let me know. They're open. And right now I'm just gaining uh, materials for the project. Real fire mechanics should be uh, a lot of fun. It's one of those things that, um, unless you are in a perfect situation, uh, playing with fire in Zomboid historically has been super dangerous unless you're on a server with it disabled. So I'm eager to see how it changes. And present. And also, uh, cold beer ice lover. Or cold, ice cold beer oh, Man. It's like I'm dyslexic. Uh, thank you for the, uh, the gifted subs. Cheers. I, of course, am most eager for proper NPCs. I've also heard through the grapevine, of course, this is rumor and hearsay, that uh, multiplayer is a little bit more stable nowadays than it was once uh, I played last, like with Trustin and the like. I don't know if that's true, but uh, I don't play a whole lot of multiplayer Zomboid, so don't take my word for it. Trust, trust, the trust in me as a source uh, should be suspect. But if that is true, uh, that is pretty cool. Plop. So, so far, I'm still running on... Uh, city water and power, or not water, but city power, which is really interesting given that it is day 26. Lewis, I think, has is probably the luckiest survivor I have so far. Uh, did I miss it? The noon broadcast? Me thinks I did. That's unfortunate. But oh well. I'll catch the next one. Chunk. So there's a lot of subtasks that I can think of that I could work on, like uh, leveling up my tailoring. One of the things is like I took the trait as sewer because when you go room to room, house to house in Louisville, it's very dangerous, right? It's very easy for, especially on apocalypse difficulty where your rear vulnerability is very high. It's very easy to be jumped from behind and killed. 
Uh, so one of the things I, I want to get at, done at some point, I don't know when, but at some point, is to properly level up my tailoring so that I can protect myself from that uh, possibility. But there's a lot of other tasks, like leveling up mechanics uh, to try to maintain the cars that I have a little bit better, or leveling up um, uh, some additional farming try to get farm going. I mean, there's a lot of tasks that I can I can see you guys voting on, so uh, there will be opportunities to do that soon. There's different stages of the secret Top Secret Lewis project, but it's going to be pretty obvious what I'm doing uh, fairly early on to experienced players, so the cat will be out of the bag uh, in short order. Uh, but with that said, if you want me to continue on the project once I am done with stage one, uh, happy to do it. Just gotta eat my potatoes. Looks like I'm trying to build a, a spaceship and leave the planet. Nah. I'm the king of Louisville. I'm not allowed to leave Louisville. Lest I'd not be the king no more. I'm also the king of violating gravity, but that's, you know, a top secret skill that nobody else knows how to do, obviously. Shh, gravity, who needs it? I know. It's like trying to kill Sandra Bullock. Ain't nobody need gravity. I don't trust myself. Okay, you're gonna do that to me. Okay, come on. Pity that Brickworks isn't a thing? I agree wholeheartedly. It is a pity that Brickworks is not a thing. I am so soaking wet right now. I'm so sweaty that I have a chance to get a cold. Hmm. I have outdoorsman trait, correct? That I do. Ha! Cold? I don't know what that means. Hello, ready prep roof? Okay. The bridge is being suspended by disbelief. Uh, royal disbelief. I am royal after all. Moxie. Thank you for the, uh, for the resub. Now I'm going to be, um, very tempted to call you Shane. Oh, here's the broadcast. Maybe I should actually listen to this one. There's not much the broadcasting can tell me that would be a surprise. Oh, power fluctuations detected. I'm losing my power. So that was pretty much the only thing I wanted to know when I would lose power. Because, of course, when the power gets cut, I'm going to want to turn on my own generator. And I want to time it in such a way that I'm not wasting extra gas. Because I don't have multiple generators, so it's kind of annoying to upkeep my one generator. Again, that would be another good side project for me to work on. Hint, hit, nudge, nudge. But there's a lot of those, so... And it's going to rain. That's probably good for the rain barrels. Oh, and a thumber, thunderstorm in, imminent in two days. So that's really good for the rain barrels. That works for me. Are we going to plant crops and filter water? Well, I already have water filtered. But uh, yeah, planting crops is absolutely a, a potential project as well. Starting a farm, working on tailoring, working on mechanics, getting a better car. Right now, I just need to strip some zombies naked. You know, like you do. Totally normal post-apocalyptic stuff. Nothing to see here. Nothing weird at all. Nobody tell the authorities. 
that I like my zombies naked. Find a sniper rifle and pick out the locals? I could do that as well. In fact, uh, well, yeah, that's a possibility. Up we go. Oh, let me turn off that radio now that I know the power fluctuations are coming. Power fluctuations is what, like a 24 hour notice warning or something? So, meaning uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I should lose power? I believe I'm. This is not fact, it's theory. We'll see. And I just want to make sure that I do my project correctly. Because incorrectly would be very, very sad. Okay. Got it. Do not fear the zombie, fear the weirdo taking off their clothes. Hey, I, you know, I'm just taking their clothing samples, right? It's it's totally normal. Don't judge me. Nope. Oh. Louis, do you need a cigarette? Is all the excitement about your secret project so exciting that you're like, ah, oh, what I wouldn't do for some smokes. Are handrails possible? Um, yeah, sort of. Oh, I don't have enough sheet rope. Louie, Louie, you blew it. You blew it, dude. Now we have to walk all the way back for extra sheet rope because I forgot that I'm three stories up, not two. But yeah, handrails are possible. They're just uh, very expensive. Building a farm on top of the roof? Uh, nope. No, sir. How's it going? It's going pretty good, man. How about for yourself? I'm just playing Strip the Zombie. I had the option of getting more sheet ropes, and I just passed on it. Oh, hello. Hello. I am encumbered. Oh, because of the sledgehammer. Yeah, it makes sense. Hang on. I call times. Pause. Alright, I'll strip you. You didn't respect my timeout. Oh, alright. I didn't realize I was uh, gonna insta-murder. And now I have a nice uh, bass track of uh, heartbeat. And up we go again. Alright, question for you all. What should I do tomorrow? Work on the Lewis project? Work on a farm, work on tailoring, work on cars, other. Suggestions from you. What do you guys think? Give me five minutes to vote on that, because it ain't urgent.
Dun 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 dun. Oh, look! Hey there, lady. How you doing today? Can I help you find something? You, you seem to not be verbalizing your needs that well, friend. Could I assist you in some way? No? No? You just here to complain like a zombie Karen? Okay, well that's that's rude. Don't do that. I thought I thought you were better than that. But you are not. Now, door, come on, man. Like, I thought you and I were... Well, here, let me just dismantle it. Forget. Forget high-tech solutions. One low-tech ones will work. Oh, ammo, ammo, ammo. Ah, ammo straps and choke tubes. Nice. Hey, Icarus, thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Lewis, it sounds like you have a bit of a fan club. What do you think, dude? Growling and everything. They're probably not very nice. Hi, guys. Sorry, we're closed. You're going to have to come back some other time if you want me to, you know, care about you. That's just how it be up in here. Alright, looks like popularity for Lewis's secret project is uh, gaining votes. But ultimately, you are the deciders. Three for you. Little dog is such a cutie. Don't say that out loud. It will go to his head. You have no idea what a diva he is. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's a gem. He's a wonderful little dog. What happens if I destroy the wall with a light switch? Uh, the light switch floats. If there's multiple light switches to a room, uh, it's fine. If there aren't multiple light switches to a room, it's a bit of an issue. Because then you can't use them. Although, if I, unless I plan on powering this location, it, it, it's kind of a moot point. Because the lights are going to be broken tomorrow anyway. to produce usable material come on man you are it's not like you aren't a level seven carpenter i think you can do better but you've shown me that that is incorrect which is disappointing all right i am going to continue working on the secret lewis project and uh let me hide this Blink. now they're like sprinting on a roof right seems totally safe 
given my uh, my history with uh, high uh, high impact walking or whatever. I don't know. I totally wouldn't trust me. So. All right, so we are going to have a bit of a chopper event, are we? That's what the that's what the old news people said. Let me top up my water. Cuz we're about to get a lot more of it. I'll be fine until I get a car up on that roof. Lucky for me, uh, cars can never leave the 0 Z level. So, I don't need to worry about that uh, method of suicide. Lucky me, right? Alright, well, the the Potato King is going to subsist on the potatoes. I guess I could start, like, cooking them and baking them. Because there's no reason not to. And then, what books... I should probably start reading Metalwork or something. Um, metalwork 1? Oh, let me see. So, Cook 2 or Metalwork 1. Maybe Cook 2 instead. Although, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely Cook 2 because I have all the cooking tapes. I'll be able to level up my cooking super quick. If uh, I think it's on the ground. There it is. Is there only ever one helicopter in this series? It is default apocalypse settings. So the answer to your question is yes. In default Zomboid, you only ever get one chopper. You need to modify the game to get more than one. All right, top chef. Baked them potatoes. You're confused when I said I'm not. I'm getting another soon. No, I, what I was saying is, um, I only need to. I only need to listen to the radio for when the power's getting cut, because it's impossible for me to get another one soon. You know what I realized? Getting rid of those refrigerators means that I can't just take some of these fresh potatoes and go, well, I'm going to eat them soon, so I'll just stick them in a fridge for now. I mean, no regrets, because I want to limit the amount of power that I draw, but, uh, okay, I see a slight error in my ways. Ever so slight. All right, Louie, we're going to sleep. We're going to work on the secret Louie project. Did I say uh, chopper instead of thunderstorm? Yeah, I'm getting a thunderstorm soon. So if I said chopper, I meant thunderstorm. So all those water rain barrels are going to be nice and full. My dude here likes to sleep. Uh, Alright, so this stage of the Louie project, I am going out this way. Did I? No, I did it wrong, but whatever. Well, they have like a lot of stuff in these military crates, huh? A lot of stuff I didn't bother grabbing before. 
But I'm not here for for loot. Not today. I'm here because these growlers are threatening my project. So I was wrong about the day. We still have power, obviously. So I guess it's getting cut tomorrow morning? I guess tomorrow morning. Wait, where did I put that sledgehammer? I mean, I have others, but... Where did it go? Hey, Draco. Thank you for the resub. No, that's a different one in the desk. I'll just take that one. Who needs to keep track of them? I have so many. And Lily, thank you for the resub as well. <laughs> Alright, walking is obviously not my strong suit, as you can see. Gotta be real careful on this bridge, because <laughs> it's gonna get me killed. Yeah, falling from this height um, while encumbered would be a very nasty splat. out just a little bit of a shortcut All right, the extra planks I have can go here I don't I'll ever use them in this project because I don't think it's gonna be necessary but whatever I'll put them down so there's the extra sledgehammer that, uh, that you know, I, I misplaced. I had stashed it. Like you do. Put a bunch of beds underneath it. <laughs> Works for Wiley Coyote. Maybe I should just paint a bed then. Who needs actual beds? You'll just paint one, right? Make it look like it's padded. That's that's all that really matters from what, what I've been told. U.S. Army property, no trespassing, which is particularly funny for a civilian-owned uh, surplus door. All right, next up, making sure that all the important loots in the ground floor are uh, scrolled away for reasons. Is so anything that could be useful that goes boom, more or less? Don't so much care about, uh, well, all that is technically useful. Some of the extras, it's like, whatever. Louis, do you want to set up the satellite dish on the roof for fun? Ooh, beta blockers. All 
All right, so those crates are looted. How do scopes work? Um, you yeah, stick them on a rifle, and they give you the ability to aim at further out targets, provided that the rifle accommodates a scope. You can just mouse over it. Can be mounted to the 788, 700, M16, and M14, and increases the max fire range, but decreases the short accuracy range. Useful if uh, if you have long range targets. Super, super sucks if you don't. Because otherwise, it's making it harder to use your gun. It is possible uh, to outfit a rifle with such good long range that you get to a point where um, distant targets can't hear you when you when you shoot at max range. So that it can be nice, but it's very niche. It mostly just doesn't come into handy. Um, unless you you're running mods, I could definitely see it being handy when you run mods because. Modded rifles obviously behave a bit differently. All right, other important things down here. What's the satellite dish do? It's cosmetic as far as I know. Strictly and completely cosmetic. Doesn't do anything. Just looks pretty. Doesn't allow you to steal HBO. Which is a shame. It'd be cool if there was like an extra TV channel that you could, uh, or or TVs would work if you had a satellite dish or something. But nope. Reruns of Dexter. Depends on the Dexter you're referring to. We are in the past here, so probably a different Dexter. So all I'm doing now is just, before I compromise the integrity of the bottom floor here, I'm looting all the things that I think will be most useful. and bring them to the other side. The wiki says satellite dish non-functional. Uh, well then the wiki and I are in agreement. There's a lot of stuff that's just like non-functional though. Like concrete bags, right? <laughs> like in a zombie apocalypse game where you're trying to build yourself a base, you would think that uh, concrete would be functional, but nope, it is not. Brit's mods are double-edged swords. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't, I don't play with mods, so I can't comment on that in any meaningful way. I don't really know. You're welcome for me rating zero. Zero has been a long time supporter of my channel, so. I am happy to rate him back. We actually used to co-stream together uh, two years ago, uh, but we were co-streaming Escape from Tarkov, which was not a game that most of my community was particularly interested in watching me play. So, uh, you know, I, I stopped co-streaming that. But a lot of our gaming interests overlap pretty well. Hence the rating him when possible. Oh my god, I'm almost already full again. Ooh, fiberglass stock. I was trying to not use my backpack, because it just takes longer to move things in and out of a backpack, but given how much loot there is...
Lewis climbs uh, three stories while encumbered with a hundred and what twenty pounds worth of loot or something. He does not skip arm day. I can tell you that much. He's a swole boy. Let's see. I will run the same poll again. Want me to continue working on this or do something else? It is up to you. Also, I think tomorrow or the next day will be the thunderstorm. I forget what hour I listen to the weather report. Because uh, it updates every 9 a.m. So we're getting a, a thunderstorm at some point. But I don't know exactly when that is. Don't worry, the, uh, the Lois project does get more interesting than what I'm currently doing. It's just what I'm doing is a, a necessary prerequisite for the full project. But I am excited about it. Not to say that you have to vote on it. I totally understand farming right before it rains, because that cuts out the whole needing to water the farm, which takes a lot of time. I think I am pretty much done uh, looting this area. There is one more, like, back off, or two more back office rooms, but they don't typically have guns or anything like that. I'm really encumbered, but I'll check them out. Some stale peaches. Well, still food. Rotten cornbread. I all pass on that. Hey, we have a frozen steak. And lard if I need to gain some really gross extra weight. How did they not see me? For real? Okay. Nothing in there. Getting drowsy, getting bored. So I'll probably turn in for the night a little early and get a little reading done. But I do believe that this whole downstairs facility is fully looted, uh, which is good news. That accelerates the Lewis project. Is it worth making spears with those hunting knives? Um, if I want to level up spear, I don't have aptitude for it. Lewis, um, Lewis is a, uh, a blunt boy, if you check my traits. He's a baseball player. And also a sower, so that's contingent upon having good blunt skill as well. Yoink. 
Yeah. Right, I'm removing this escape rope because I think it's very likely that zombies will just joink it down. So I might as well hoist it up and drop its remnants there. As I almost always have a, a hammer and nails on me to just redeploy it if I want it. Um, Scorpio, that is not a concern. It is not open. Oh, I brought some weapons back that I didn't even bring back with me. Oh, well. Any plans for my Valentine's Day? First one as a as a dad? Uh, nope. <laughs> not really. Cheers. And it looks like I'll be working on the farm. Alright, cool. Now let me put these guns away, because they're going to weigh me down. Sleeping? Yeah, uh, sleep would be great. I don't, I don't get a whole lot of sleep. I don't have dry goods shelf. I'm just leaving it in a pile here for now. Good enough. Uh, I will start to work on the farming now then. So I'm going to ditch the cookbook and start reading farming one. Farming, of course, you only level up once you harvest um, harvest crops that you had planted. So it's it's not something I can immediately benefit from, but it's better to read the book ahead of time so that you get most amount of XP possible. If I can find the book. I haven't organized anything, so... Finding books is a bit of a pain. Let's sort category. Oh, I think it's in here. Yep, there it is. The other thing is I will need sacks. So, five empty sacks. That should be pretty good. Can't imagine I'm going to need too much more than that. And then a shovel. To shovel dirt. Maybe a trowel as well. Watering cans are already on the roof. So here's a shovel. Uh, there's not a ton of dirt in Louisville. Especially not... Exactly where I live, but across the street towards the apartment complex, there's a thin strip of, of uh, soil. So, updating the priority. Build a farm. I also don't, I haven't collected any seeds, so that's another issue. And uh, I'm tired and, and drowsy. So, take some dirt. I get a few plots down. Switch, uh, each one of these is a farm plot I'll be able to make. And I'm just filling the sa empty sacks that had potatoes with dirt. My guess is uh, the five sacks full is probably a big enough farm. It doesn't take a lot of um, square footage to feed you in this game. All right, one more and we're done, I think. And there's, yeah, there's plenty of seeds in the ground floor, absolutely. 
Look at this. I'm not even going to need an entire day tomorrow for the farm. I'm basically already done. <laughs> Dirt. I'll have them right next to these rain barrels. It's going to be a little easier. And I'll do rows of crops. So that I can plant different things. So I'll do four rows. I might need to move the plastic furniture. Or five rows, rather. I should spell out, like, help, but uh, I'm too lazy. Plus, uh, Louie doesn't need help. He's a boss. Hey, Syndra. 19 months. Yeah, thank you. Spell out eat me. I don't want him to get eaten either. move his little uh his little garden area set do i have a favorite exploit uh no i really don't i don't uh well anyone that's familiar with the channel probably knows i don't use a whole lot of exploits so i definitely don't have a favorite one as i don't use really any of them the game in my opinion, is part of the challenge is playing within its rules. And there's obviously a lot of exploits like that you can employ to make the game easier, but if you're exploiting to make the game easier, just make the game easier. It's a sandbox game. There's no need to exploit for your own, you know, like that. Just my two cents. Uh, all right, we have the shovel. I'll leave the shovel up here. And then we're also going to want... Uh, I'll probably end up wanting to bi build some extra rain barrels. Um, specifically for the farm. So that uh, I'm not draining from the same water source. But uh, let's get a trowel and... Make the, um, the farm have rows and all that. But I'll probably go to sleep first. I just hope it doesn't start raining cats and dogs like first thing tomorrow morning. I could also do fertilizer. Yeah, there's 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 plenty of fertilizer downstairs, so that there that could be done. And before I eat these worms, uh, I'm gonna put them under my sink. You know where? Oops. Where worms go? In in my kingdom. <laughs> yep. Lewis is an odd man. Who eats raw potatoes and collects worms and sticks them under her sink. It's just, it's just his style. Do I have mats for composter? I probably do. Probably the most pressing thing is to actually just get physical seeds in the ground first, because if it's going to rain, that salt, uh, saves me the problem of having to water. And then I'll work on a composter and fertilizer and all that jazz, getting all the nice things to have. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You don't need a composter when you actually don't have anything sewn. Mm, potato. And I think if there are no trowels up here, I certainly have a trowel downstairs. So I don't have to use my hands because that can actually injure you. Uh, I'll grab a trowel tomorrow. The world, because the power's about to go out uh, citywide, the world's going to be filled with rotted food. Any minute now. So, uh... Oh, and I can hear the rain. And also some weird noise. What was that? Like a weird thunking. Oh, that was the power going out. 
Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 2nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel, and made it all the way to the credits. I'll catch you next episode on an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers, 